He's beaten a couple of the big three guys. I think he has a positive record against Djokovic. He's beaten Federer, I believe. And uh, I don't think there's anybody more passionate about the team and, and just kind of the club spirit than Johan Landsberg. So if there's anybody we all just really want to win, like that extra edge that we want to win for, it's for sure Johan. And uh, yeah, we're super pumped to, to bring that gold home for him. Morgan, what time is it? It's, uh, it's game time, man. It's game time. Remember what I said to you back in Gothenburg? It's a good day to have a good day. So let's have a day, boys. Let's have One a day. more match. Valeriga! No, but let's uh, make it happen. Huh? They come with Durasovic, which I like because it just uh, puts them uh, to be uh, maybe a little more favorite, but we, we are very tough to beat here at home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are. They're so scared of us, they have to fly in a yeah. Norwegian Davis Cup player yeah. <laughs> to play <laughs> our true. Danish Davis Cup He's player. He's not used to college tennis atmosphere, though, like Jake was saying. So we're going to get in his head. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. And I mean, that's why yeah, it's too. also um, like you did yesterday, fight like hell every point to stay in the match, etc. Because yeah. that all of us has played college, yes? Yeah. So we know how important that is, and this is exactly the same uh, scenario. I also think about it, we have a little bit of drinks, but that's all you need to know now, now we focus on it. Little drinks! For some reason, I was like, I'm gonna smack this as hard as I can in his chest. He fell to the ground. I missed yeah, it like yeah, a so two foot long. <laughs> <laughs> but, but for me, it was just a normal shot straight at the guy. It's not I, I didn't think it, it was a little high. Yeah. That was the only thing. You hit it really big, it, man. It, it I hit it hard, though. <laughs> you had the whole court. You was like, throw off. <laughs> you could have gone, gone, you could have gone down the line to the guy's back end. That was trash. I could have. And you, I, got, you went straight to him. But, but the, my eyes, something in my yeah. eyes, it just like. I it, love it, man. He was standing on the net, like he was standing. He was too close to net. Yeah. Bad things happen when you're that close. Yeah. <laughs> you get killed. You get killed. Yeah. yeah. That's when we took his soul, man. It was the that beginning was, of the soul taking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but today, I think Bergevi has uh, worse volleys. You agree, Freund? Yeah. But the other guy uh, will uh, be looking and poaching all the time. Yeah. So that's where, uh, if you feel Freeze like him, yeah. you, you, he's always going correct, just decide you guys, like, now we hit six shots in a row straight at him. Yeah. So, and then maybe he will stay. Probably not. He goes big with the returns, but if you just like stay solid and don't try to like finish it off, because it's tough to finish off on it. But like if you just like it, yeah. just block it back yeah. at him, he's gonna struggle to like hit the second yeah. shot. You just work your way into the points. Just making noise. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. We all gotta engage the crowd today. I feel like uh, yeah. it's a big advantage. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Ingelson actually was the one yeah. getting the crowd going really, really. You. because you started leading. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you and, did. I mean, and then that stopped. You notice it stopped during the doubles. It did? Yeah, because no, you were not, uh, you were playing. <laughs> yeah. I, I thought you brought the guy from the hospital. No, I, I loved it. I'm, uh, this, this <laughs> I'm just very excited. I feel very calm. I feel the whole team is just in a good good state of mind. Everybody's just excited and, and ready to get going. I feel like. We've been here before, so uh, yeah, we feel comfortable with the situation. And we like the situation. But uh, yeah, I think it's our turn this year. We've kind of accomplished everything we needed to accomplish along the way, and this is the last match. This is, this is where you really just have fun and compete. We've put in all the work, and now we just have to leave it all out there. So it's going to be a great crowd, great energy. We had a great win last night, and we're going to keep it going today. That's the goal. Me personally, I'm a little nervous. You know, we were in the final last year. I feel like we're more ready this year. Uh, maybe a little less stress, and it's nice to, for it to be at home. We, we know we'll be a lot of people, uh, and uh, we will have the crowd. But uh, Fair Play has a good team, so it's uh, well. I would say it's 50-50.
I mean, uh, but I don't know. Maybe other people would uh, say, uh, depends a little who they play, but they, they brought in this uh, Norwegian guy that is good. So probably people will put fair play as a favorite a little. And that's fine with me because uh, it's not so easy to beat us here at uh, Lidingö in our own castle. It gets tougher every year. You get older and then it means more and we all uh, we're in this together and um, I, I have belief in the boys.
Just a quick break here to give a huge thank you to Stiga Racket Sports for sponsoring and making this whole docu series possible. They have some great stuff, including my racket of choice. And uh, yeah, just a huge thank you to Stiga for making all this possible. Set. He was up one break in beating, I think. Uh, it's a good match. The other guy hits very well, uh, I would say. It's a good match. Uh, Joe on uh, court four here, one first set. Playing very well, playing in Duras Ovis, is like top 400, I think. Really good guy, so it's a really tough one. Joe's, Joe is playing really well.
What are your thoughts and feelings at the moment? Sad. I got the chills. It's emotional again. Emotional. It still hurts a little bit falling uh, so close to the finish line, but you know, just looking at all the positives from that, just playing with all my friends and just having such a great time out there, it's just such a such a blessing. It's been a few months since the final, but it still feels like a, exactly the same, like the day after, basically. You know, I, I love the guys and I, I really am proud how they were fighting and we were keep trying all the time, you know, and then it sucks. I thought we were going to get one of the matches. That was my feeling. Um, and watching it back, I saw how close it was. I didn't even realize when I was there, it was so close, you know, both of the matches, we were, we were right there. When you get to see like the footage and everything, it's like, it's like you relive everything once again. So watching some of those matches again, just, it brings you right back in that moment. And it speaks to just the fine margins of sport in general, where in the semifinal, those matches went our way. They just didn't go our way in the final, but, uh. Yeah, it was painful. What are your favorite moments from the series and that whole week? That's a very tough question because I think I love all the episodes. And of course, I like when we beat Povelund in the semi final because there we were really lucky. We won two sets, we lost six sets. And then somehow we win two super tie breaks and then we win the third super tie break in the deciding double. So. And then to make the final and the first time we had the playoffs at home, this was amazing, of course. I think you can really see that in the series that, I mean, we're not just a bunch of tennis friends. Like we, we've known each other for 15 plus years. And I think you can really see that in the, in the, in the show. And the, it's, it's so nice to see how everyone supports each other throughout the matches and the, how we cheer on if, if we win or lose. The, the favorite moments from, from the videos are probably like off court. You know, the, us sitting and, you know, enjoying between the games or before the games, laughing, you know, talking to each other. Uh, that, that, that's my favorite part, really. Always just hanging out with the guys, you know, all the fun stuff around the court, off the court, all the, like, all the stories and then just getting out there and just giving your all together with the guys really just, just gives you that something that's just undescribable. It's just such a, such a blast being out there with the guys. I was pretty open about my personal life throughout the series, so... And uh, I mean, I don't regret anything, uh, but uh, uh, I've still gotten a few DMs from from some birds. So I was I was a bit I was a bit worried that that that, that part of my life is going to be over. But you know, sometimes it's good to be open. The the chop chop fiasco in uh, Uppsala. I'm so upset about that. <laughs> I was so looking forward to that dinner. And what was funny is like Simon was always going to win that match. Always. And I remember thinking the clock, like, this has kind of taken a while, but I didn't think it was going to deprive me of Chop Chop at the end of the day. <laughs> like the first uh, t time we basically spoke, you asked me like if I had any emotions. And I said, <laughs> zero emotions. <laughs> and you, I think you noticed uh, over the week that uh, I might have had a little emotions. Huh? <laughs> and when I said that, I knew it's, it's not going to be stay like zero, but you know, I, I, I had to keep, uh, you know, poker face in the beginning a little. <laughs> that was great. Oh, we had such great stories, such a great group of guys. Johan, I mean, everyone was so great and so, so, so many great memories. How motivated are you for Elite Serie in 2024? Very, very motivated. 100%. Big time. Oh, I'm, I'm extremely motivated. I would love to do it and try to take that one more step next year. So I think I speak for everybody when I say we're very hungry to come back for it. You know, third time's the charm, losing in the final two years in a row. Next year is for sure. That's when it's going to happen. Next year, it's, uh, we're really going to, yeah, we, we got to win that thing. I hope next year is our year. So I'm very motivated. And I know the guys are too. So it's going to be fun. To come so close two years in a row now. Third time's the charm is what they say, isn't it? We will win the gold one time sooner than later. And our goal is to do it at least the latest 2027 when the club turns 100 years old. So. Looking forward to season two, no? Let's do it all again. Big thank you to, to Stiga, to Vitamin Wells, Synth Supplements and Blue Link Jets and, and all the people behind the scenes that made this whole series possible. It would have been possible without you guys watching, of course. And uh, yeah, it's just such an honor being a part of this. And I just really feel like when it comes to sports, just being out there and giving your all, uh, I really think that's 
that's a winner in my book.